Today is Labor Day. Labor Day? Yeah, Labor Day. Looks like Dora's already started working on her next project. More beds. Now that this new part, see, I don't know if you can tell, see where the brown is more brown and less brown over there. We just got this finished up. And uh, so Dora's now working. The next step is making the beds around it. Hey, you're not, okay. Uh, don't eat those berries. I think these berries, these berries are bothering his stomach. He's been acting funny lately. He doesn't want to go out. I, it, it's like he got stung by the bees three weeks ago, and now he's traumatized. Oh, look, she already really dug that bed up. Um... And the Black Eyed Susans, it's September 2nd. The Black Eyed Susans are waning. I don't see any butterflies, but we do have some, some new flowers are coming and hopefully down behind that sofa, there's gonna be some pineapple sage with beautiful red flowers, which will probably come in a month from now, in November, uh, October, November. Anyway, today's uh, first reading is from believe 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and Paul is saying I didn't come with words and wisdom I came basically with uh, with with showing signs of the power of God like I'm guessing that means miracles uh, healings of blind people etc and um, other times he says, I've come with the Holy Spirit. These aren't my words. You know, we really shouldn't walk through here. Let's not walk through here. Come on. Your mother is... Okay, I won't walk. Uh, she took up that lilac. <laughs> Bunch of lilac. Can't get the lilacs to flower in this yard. Too much shade, I think. All these trees. I think the lilacs need really full sun. Which is funny because we had a lilac tree near my house, near my, a two, near my bedroom, two-story window, which started in the, basically the shade of the house and then grew two, practically two stories so I could eventually smell, at least that's my recollection, I could smell the lilacs in my bedroom window as a boy. Um, so, uh, in the second reading, it is from the gospel of Luke, I believe chapter four, verse six, 16 to 30. And it's the verse that we get a couple of times a year during ordinary time. And I believe sometimes during the, uh, uh, whatever other more, more, high holy high days whatever you call that um and it is when jesus comes up to the synagogue goes up to the scrolls picks the scroll of isaiah which talks about um i have come to bring glad tidings to the poor to bring freedom to the to those imprisoned and sight to the blind and the people are going ah oh, awesome Jesus sits down and says, you have seen this in, in, in this, this time has come and you're, you're seeing this time come now. In other words, this is the time that's talked about in Isaiah right here. And they go, wow, awesome. This is great news that's seeming to bring good, good uh, fortune to the people. And then they go, isn't this the son of Joseph? And then they start doubting. So like, uh, I guess, Peter, when he gets out of the boat, and he's all happy and walking, and then all of a sudden he looks down, and the people look down and go, wait, isn't this Jesus, the son of Joseph? No. No. Oh, crud. And, um... No! Great. Great. I think that means someone's here. Uh, so they say, isn't... Come here. Come here. Come here, let's check. Stop pulling. Yes, okay. So let's wrap this up. So Jesus says, um, 
you're you're seeing this now and they say wait isn't this the son of joseph and jesus says isn't it said somewhere that you won't listen to the pro prophet can't work in his own town and i think other places we hear jesus wasn't able to do anything but a few small miracles in areas where they didn't believe in him because everyone knows the people that live in their neighborhood and their own dirty laundry but jesus had none jesus did nothing wrong um so uh still um so what the heck oh wow wow whoops